Tracy, thank you. The USNS Comfort is docked, the makeshift hospital, and the Javits Center now is taking patients. And there is another field hospital going up, this one in Central Park. Not a moment too soon. We just learned there are 14 more reported deaths in New York City. News Horse Cat Craig's in Central Park with more on those preparations there. Cat. And David, just a few minutes ago, we saw more medical supplies being brought here, those stretchers, those boards that a patient would be placed on. What we're zooming into is some of the work crews that are putting the finishes touches, you could say, on this field hospital. We are awaiting the arrival of medical workers. Today is the first day they are expected to begin taking care of patients. Taking a look at this video, this is all happening in the middle of East Meadow and Central Park. This is what it looked like about an hour and a half ago. There is still some work being done. Crews are hammering away and bringing more supplies to the area. What we know of the field hospital, it will have 68 beds, 10 of them in an intensive care unit for patients who need ventilators. The medical workers here will treat coronavirus patients. And we heard from Mayor de Blasio earlier on the Today Show giving a sobering forecast on this pandemic in the city. He says the expectation is the situation will get much worse before it gets better. He says his city, the city, is not ready at this moment to take care of all the people who will likely get sick. Let me give you the projection and it's very blunt Savannah. We have about 20,000 hospital beds in all of New York City. That's where we were say the beginning of this month normal times. We project the potential that all of those beds, all 20,000 will have to be turned into intensive care beds to focus on COVID-19 patients who are really really sick. And here's another look at the tents in Central Park. They sit across from Mount Sinai Medical Center, which worked with Samaritan's Purse, a humanitarian group, in building the field hospital. 14 tents are here, and there's also an area for victims of the coronavirus who've lost their lives. It's a morgue, also an area, David, for x rays and a pharmacy here on site. Reporting live, Catherine Craig, News 4 New York. Again, just an extraordinary sight there, Kat. Thank you.